Hey friends, hope you're doing well. In this video, I'd like to show you how you can easily create paginated reports with Microsoft Fabric and Power BI. So let me show you first the problem which we often face when we are dealing with Power BI reports and let me show you an easy solution how to fix it. So in this Fabric workspace, I already have created a new Power BI report, which is this Pokemon report. And you can see that I have here a few example visualizations and I have a table structure in here. Now, most often when people interact with our reports, they also want to download, especially tabular data like this table, for instance. Now, the problem is if you export the data, then oftentimes the table is cut off, right? Just means that, for instance, you see those entries in here, but then if you would export this as a PDF file, for instance, then you do not see the other rows. So if you can see that if I scroll down, there are a lot of rows in this specific table. Now the question is, how can I get actually this table? How can I export this as an Excel file, for instance, or also as a PDF, right? Because I want to print it, because I want to have it in front of me. So that still is a big and often a requirement you hear in companies. So the question is how to do this. And in Power BI, there was this so-called paginated report option, which allowed us to create paginated reports which have exactly this option that we can create a little logo, we can add a little headline, and we can export the table in a structured format so we can see all the rows and nothing is cut off. That is or was the main benefit of paginate reports. The problem was that you need an ex extra tool for it, so you need to install the software for paginate reports, and also it was maybe uh, you need at least a little learning curve, so it's not that easy uh, to start from scratch if you have never used it before. But now with Microsoft Fabric, there's an easy option to do this. So let me show it to you. So let's go to the lake house where this data is from. So let me just open here the Fabric lake house. Let me click on it. And you see that inside this lake house, I also have here my report, which is this poker table we have seen just a second ago. Now, instead of having uh, or creating reports here, like for instance, visualize the data, create the report or say, share the data, there are also this table section. And in this table section, you can see we have the option to create a paginated report. So let's do that. Let's click on create paginated report. And then we wait and there is actually already our report page. Now I can see all the tables and inside the tables, all the specific columns I have in those tables, which are currently in my fabric lake house. So for our example, I want to use this Pokemon table. So let me go to the Pokemon table in here. And you see that there's the name, the total and the type, exactly what we've seen uh, just a second ago in the Power BI report. So let me create a table in here by simply adding the specific columns I want to see. So for instance, I'd say I'd like to see here the name first. So let me click on name. Then I'd like to see the type. And finally, of course, in my report, I'd like to see here the total amount. So that is what the report looks like. Okay, so now I have my table in here. And I have a preview here and I can also customize this a little bit, right? So if you go to the build option here, let me click on build. You see that under the formatting option here, you can go there and then you can specify what kind of style do you want to have. The same as we already are familiar with from Power BI. So for instance, I personally prefer normally either none or minimal. So if I go to minimal here, you see that now the report here changes a little bit. So under format option, there's also the option to uh, here again, remove specific columns. So also here, for instance, change the aggregation type for this specific column. But the sum of total for me is fine here. Okay, so uh, then we have our report in here. And now I would like to edit this a little bit. You can see we are still in editing mode here. So what I would like to do is I like to go to insert here. And under insert, I have the option to insert a little image as well as a text box. So uh, just a header for my report. So let's do that. Let's go to image here. And then I need an image URL. And in my case, I went to Pixabay for that. So because there are free images, so I use this one here, I can right click here and I can copy the image address. And then I can go to the report again and just paste the URL in here. Let me click on insert. And then we just wait a little bit until the image is loaded and there it is. And you see that you can drag this around. So place it somewhere in your report. So for instance, place it up here. You can also make it bigger if you want. In this case, it's scaling a little bit, but it's up to you whether you want to place it here. So let me also drag this a little bit up like that. And then of course I could also insert here, for instance, a text box. 
So if I click on text box here, you can see that here I have my text box and then I can insert my text here. So this is my Pokemon uh, table um, PDF export, like that for instance. I can also highlight this, I can make this bold for instance, I can underline it, I can change the color if I want. In this case, I just want to change the size here a little bit. So let me make this bigger, uh, like that for instance, right? So, okay. So I get my reports, my header for this report, also the logo, and here I get my data. Uh, currently the total is also activated, but this is also something you can uh, disable if you want. I think it's down there. So if you untick the show total option, then the totals are gone. If you don't want to display them on each of the pages, it's up to you. So now I have my report in here. So also let me drag this up maybe a little bit, maybe center it like that. Okay, here we go. That's my report. And now I can just go, uh, if I go back to under the home, I can export this. And you would see that if I go to export, I have here various options. And all of those is for instance, the PDF export. So if I would now export this as a PDF file, if I click on export here, and by the way, before you do that, you can also of course go to the viewing mode. Um, yes, I'd like to save my changes here. I need to give it a name. So let's say this is my paginated uh, poker table, TBL, call it this way. And then I can define destination workspace. In this case, as choose the fabric workspace, that is fine for me. So I click on save and then I can have a look at my report. You can see it now saving is in progress. In just a second, there it's saved successfully. And now I can see here the preview of the data. And now I have the option uh, to export it. So if I go here under export, I have here various options and let's choose PDF just to show you that this really works. So if I click on PDF export, then now the data is exported as a PDF file. Here's my report. And if I double click it to open it, you see that there's my report and nothing is cut off here. So you can see exactly the way I need it. So I can see here, it then continues here from the next side and continues here from the next side and so on. So exactly the PDF export, which I would need when I want to print the data. And this is something which you cannot get with your normal Power BI report. As I said, you have use page and reports, which were, as I said, you need a little bit of learning curve, but this now is really easy because you can do it directly from the Fabric Workspace in here. You can customize it with a logo and then download the data the way you want it. And export it, of course, here in various file formats. Finally, of course, what I also like to mention is you can always go back to this report to change or edit it later. If you go back here into the editing view, uh, then you have the option to choose different kinds of columns. For instance, if your underlying data changes, anything like that, you can do that here. And you also find this, of course, because remember you saved it. If you go to the specific workspace, in this case, for me, it's fabric workspace in here, and you can see here, there's my paginated poker table report. So you can always see it as well in my fabric workspace. And of course I can also go here, edit it, change it, or also click on the three dots in case I don't need it anymore and just delete it in here as well. And also customize here the permissions in order to change who is able to access this page and report this as well. So that's it actually for creating page and reports. So as you can see, it's quite easy to do. Of course, there are not all the functionalities already available. You've seen that we can insert a logo, we can insert a header currently, but beside this, there's not much to format. But still, I think it's a great feature because it easily, uh, well, solves this problem which we had when we export data from a Power BI report and we had this cutoff lines because of longer tables which should not fit on one specific screen page. Now we have the option to just export it and give the people the freedom if they want to print it and have it as a PDF file, they can do that now. So that's it for this video. Hopefully that was helpful. As always, thanks so much for watching and hopefully see you in the next video. Until then, best guys.